What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. And for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! news video, this one's gonna be a bit different. Um, because we have new Gem Knight support in Power of the Elements. Yeah, I did not think we would ever get any new Gemini support. I don't know if we're going to be getting any more Gemini support in the next deck, in the, in the next uh, Luxury Duelist set that's going to come out. Because um, I think I, I had talked about that on the channel before. I believe the OCG name of it is called, it, it's called Duelist Pack, Duels of Proxying, of Pyro, Pyro, Hold on, I gotta look at my laptop. Hang on. Pyroxin. Pyroxin? I I probably just butchered that, but yeah, that's basically that's basically the the next deck the next the, the next duels pack set, and we do have a few Gemini cards. We have a new spell, a new fusion for them, and two new uh two new um. Um, um, uh, main deck monster, which is pretty cool. Um, excuse me. And, uh, honestly, again, I don't know if, I don't really know if the Geminis are, are, are gonna be meta again, because they were always more of a, more of a, not a casual deck, but more of a, more of a rogue deck, honestly. I just might have, have to build Geminis once these cards come out on Nexus, but who knows. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, and you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, which get posted every Tuesday, make sure you guys subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you guys turn on the notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way and as always the links to my social media will be in the description as will the info to my fan mail the info will also be in the description as well let's get straight into it first up we have gem knight quartz which is a four star earth fairy with 1500 attack and defense and both of its effects are once per turn the first effect reads if your opponent controls a monster, you can discard this card, set one fusion continuous spell directly from your from your deck, and you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Gem Knight. So it does lock you out of the extra deck, but you're but but you're able to Excuse me. You're able to just pitch this and set a set a continuous fusion spell from your deck which is just absolutely insane so it it does come as a one for one but still it's not too bad it's not too bad being able to just automatically go into your fusions turn two or turn one depending on who goes first that ain't too bad that ain't too bad uh second effect reads if this card is used as material for fusion summon and sent to the grave or banished you can add one gemini monster from your grave to your hand except this card so so it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Gemini's never really popped off uh, once the support once the once the whole deck came together. It never took off, but with this with these new cards, it just might. But with this effect, it allows you to get it. It allows you to just automatically. Um, <sighs> excuse me. It allows you to to just instantly go into um, go into your uh, go into your graveyard, search out search out any gem any Gemini you want. In which case, you could go go after Gemini Garnet, which is basically the break of, of the whole deck, and then just send send it back to the graveyard for another fusion, which is pretty good, pretty good if I say so myself. Next up, we have Brilliant Rose, which is a two-star light rock with 500 attack and defense. And it says this card is always treated as a Gem Knight card, and both and the first effect is a once per turn. 
Uh, first effect reads, reads, you can discard one Gemini or, or Melodious card, special summon this card from your hand. So it's a Cyber Dragon effect, but at the cost of discarding one Gemini or Melodious card. So this card can work with not only the Melodious deck, but also the Gemini as well, which is really good. Really cool, really cool, but you're going to be using this card, card for Gemini's. Fuck the Melodious deck, Gemini's where it's at, baby, let's go. Um... Um, let's see, second effect reads, once per turn, you can send one Gemini or Melodious monster from your extra deck to the grave. This card's name, type, and attribute become the sent monster's original name, type, and attribute until the end phase. So it acts as like a, as a homunculus, and not, not, not homunculus, uh, Prisma. It's basically the Prisma of the whole deck, which is really cool. And then for the fusion of the entire, of the entire... New support for them. We have Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond, which is a which is an eight star Earth Fairy fusion with with twenty seven hundred attack, twenty four hundred defense, and it requires a Gem Knight and a Fairy. Um, it actually has two effects. The first effect reads: the first time a Gem Knight monster or monster you control would be destroyed by by card effect during each opponent's turn, it is not destroyed. So, pretty much any of your Gem Knights first time around. They're safe. Second time, might not be so lucky. Might not be so lucky unless if you have have like another out to their to their <sighs> excuse me. Unless if you had had another out to their to their to their you know to their negations or or whatnot, it might not be so lucky. <laughs> Um, second effect reads, when your opponent activates a monster effect during your turn as a quick effect, you can banish a Gemini card from your grave, target a face of your opponent controls, and destroy. So it's, it's, it's a nice piece of removal. Not, not too bad. Um, not, not too bad. So if you were to activate a, so if you were to activate, let's say, let's say you activated... Gemini Course Effect, let's say that, as Chainlink 1. Your opponent activates, um, activates, uh, Ghost Bell as Chainlink 2. You can then chain, you can then chain Rose, Rose Diamond's effect, her, her second effect as Chainlink 3, to ban, to banish one of your, banish one of your Gem Knights, and then target a face of a card that, that they control and destroy it. And then, as Chain Link 4, you can then activate Call By. You can then you can then activate Call By to act to banish their ghost spell so 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 you can easily chain 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 block them from using from using a card that can stop the effect of of Rose Diamond, which is pretty cool. And now for the last card in this in in this set, as far as the new 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 Gemini support, we have Scatter Fusion, which is a continuous spell, and its effect obviously is once per turn. <sighs> Excuse me. Excuse me. The effect reads: If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock Gemini Fusion monster from the extra deck. Using monsters from your deck as fusion material. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra for the rest of the turn except Gemini. So when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster or monster. So basically, it basically it's another version of Poly. It's not brilliant fusion because brilliant fusion would have been would have been stupid good, but we all know why it's banned. But I will admit, um, I I will admit the new Gemini support. It's not too bad. It's it, it's not too bad. It's nothing really too crazy. Um, I don't really know if the if if this new support will um, will will change the meta for say because I know that Gem Gemini Quartz is easy. It's easy a two of. It's an easy two of. Um, you don't really need three in the deck. I would probably say put it at two. Uh, Brilliant Rose is is definitely a three of. Uh, Rose Diamond is, pro is probably a two, 
is probably a two of. Um, it could it it can also be a one of depending on how you see it. But scatter fusion definitely is a three of because you because um I think all of, I think all of the um. I think all of the Gemini Fusion cards are, let's see, let's take a look. Let's see. Give me one second, guys. OCG. Oh. So let's take a look. Uh, so so let's see. We have Gemini Fusion. I'm actually on on Nexus right now, looking up the car. So we have Gemini Fusion. Um. I know that Brilliant Fusion was another one. Particle Fusion is the is the other one. Um, let's see, Gemini Fusion, Particle Fusion. Um, let's see. I know that I, I know that it's brilliant fusion is the other one that I'm I know that might that's the other one that I'm looking at yeah 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 brilliant fusion was the other one which which is pretty which is a pretty nutty uh fusion card for gem knights I think I think that's the only one yeah those are those yeah yeah so it's so it's it's Gemini Fusion, um, Particle Fusion, Brilliant Fusion, and now we have, um, and now we have Scatter Fusion as well. So Scatter Fusion is definitely is definitely a three of um, Rose Diamond is, pro is probably a two. Brilliant Rose is definitely a three. Quartz definitely a two. I know th I, I I know some people might might put it at three. But you guys know three can oftentimes be a brick. So there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about on um, in today's video. Um, that was that, that was actually part of Power of the Elements. I might implement that um, into. I, I I might put that in the put it in 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 the title of the video. But we have a brand new uh, crawler card. I don't know if any, if anybody plays crawlers. But we have Crawler Soma, which is the name of the new of the new Crawler card. It is a six star Earth insect with two L's on attack, twenty five hundred defense, and both of its effects are once per turn. First effect reads: You can target one face of monster you on your field. Special summon special summon card from your hand, and if you do, change the target monster to face down defense. But for the rest of the turn, the target monster cannot change the battle position. So. With, so, with this effect, it's a Cyber Dragon Book Move, which is actually not too bad. I'm surprised that Crawlers would ever become meta. Don't think I don't think they will, but who knows? They just might. They just might. But having a Cyber Dragon Book of Moon effect, absolutely nutty. Absolutely broken, hands down. Um, second effect reads, during your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by 2 or 4. And if you do, special summon a Crawler monsters with different names whose total levels equal to the levels reduced from your hand, deck, or graveyard in either face-up defense or face-down defense. So it's a so it's a great way to to go to easily go into a rank two in, into a, into a rank two play or rank four play. It all depends on how on how you see it. But that that's actually really good. I have to admit, being able to go into rank four plays really quickly just off of this alone, not is actually really good, really good. There's a note here that there's a note here on this article that on 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 this one that reads: its name is most likely de derived from the soma, the large end of the nerve cell, 
contained contained the nucleus. Um, this term in this term in turn is derived from the Greek word body, um, which may explain the unusual way this card's name is written, or so with a small u would either be a very odd way of writing su su or possibly an approximation of a vowel sound somewhere between o and u similar to how the greek word uses an omega rather than the normal o of of omicron no i'm not talking about uh, about the about the new virus so don't go there <laughs> no no if meant to be read as suma the name could also come from the brain Brain mapping software Suma, which is a possibility. You never know. You never know. But on, but all in all, crawler, the new crawler support, not too bad, not too bad. Don't think crawler, the crawlers will ever, will ever be meta. Gem Knights, on the other hand, they just might, they just might. You never know. But that brings me, that brings me to the question of the day. What are you guys' thoughts on the new Gem Knight support? Let me know in the comments below. And that will do it for today's video. Hopefully. You guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, which get posted every Tuesday, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you guys want to send me and you guys want me to open it up on the channel, all the info will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.